All right. Uh, first one got ended. I just need to buy me a new phone. But anyway, I've left it here. And this part so you can just watch it on anyway. <coughs> so we're trying to work out B, the volume. Just simply maths, cross multiply, multiply the common denominator here, 60, 1000 times that. Throw that in your calculator, gives you 30. So the volume is 30 over 6, which is 5 centimeters cubed. And the last bit there, I'll move it down here. An IV. It says what volume of liquid water was produced in the reaction. Now a lot of you would just simply multiply the number of moles here of water and we know the number of moles of water is 0 0.045. It's hard to remember what each things are. A lot of us would just simply multiply by 22.4 liters or so on. Now in this case uh, our water is in a liquid state and another thing to say, it doesn't say at STP or at RTP. If it says at STP, standard temperature or pressure, or room temperature and pressure, then that is the correct thing to go. But here, another real clue is that they give me the density. If they give me the density, and they've asked me for the volume, I'm thinking of this triangle here. Monkey strength, vodka, mass, density, volume. So they've given me the density, they've asked for this, so that means I must need the mass. Now in order to work out the mass, I've got the number of moles of water, 0 0.045, well, that's right now. And to go from moles to mass in grams, I'm multiplying by the relative molecular mass. And the relative molecular mass of water, two by one, one by 16, 18. So 0 0.045, 18. gives me 0 0.81 grams. They've asked me for the volume. Volume is mass over density. So 0 0.81 grams over the density there, which is one gram per centimeter cubed. So the volume is 0 0.81 centimeters cubed. So that would have been the end of the, the video, but rather than upload a wee two minute one, may as well just do another one here. So I was looking there at 2017, real tough one. And then I think they do get considerably easier. Uh, 2019, I had that written out, but that's done in another video anyway. Um, so you can find that for yourselves in the stoichiometry playlist. Or limited in excess. Uh, so this one here, tough question. 2017 question 11. So if you read it for yourselves, 11a, uh, some of the blue pigment azurite was used by an artist and a picture painted and it's changed over the years into this. So the blue is changed to green according to the balanced equation. Malice shows that only copper containing pigments in the painting are azurite and malachite, whatever the way you say them. And the picture now contains 3.81 grams of copper. So they've asked you in the first bit, this is where it's tough, what mass of pure azurite, so there's my pure azurite, what mass of this contains 3.81 grams of copper. So in this, there's 3.81 grams of copper. What's the mass of the total compound? So there's 3.81 grams of copper in this. What's the mass of the big compound? So it has to be something bigger than 3.81 grams. So if we think about it here, uh, the 3.81 grams represents the three copper atoms. So if I work out the percentage of copper in this compound, I'll then be able to work out the mass of this compound. Yeah. So if I work out the percentage of copper in this compound, I'll work out the mass. So work out the relative molecular mass, never a bad place to start. It's just gonna take ages. You've got three coppers, remember copper and chlorine, keep in your halves, three by 63 and a half, two carbons, two by 12, six oxygens, two oxygens there, and two hydrogens, or you can keep those as hydroxides or whatever. So tally that up. And we get 
344.5 as the relative molecular mass. So there's my relative molecular mass of that azurite. I want to see what percentage of it is made up of copper. Now it's just, not just one copper atom, there's three copper atoms in that. So there's 190.5 grams. I've just got it from here because my three copper atoms. So 344.5. So out of the 344.5, 190.5, that's copper. And to make anything a percent, times that by 100. So this gives me the percentage of copper in a compound or an azurite. So 190.5 divided by that, multiply by 100. 55.3% say of azurite is copper. Now we want to work out 100% and that'll give us the mass of this. So change your English into mass, 55.3% is equal to 3.81 grams. Whatever I'm looking for, I put in the left hand side, to find 1%, 3.81 over 55.3, and then to find 100%, times that by 100, 3.81, 55.3, multiply it by 100. And they'll give you a range of answers in this anyway. And I have 6.89 grams, and that looks right. It's a bigger mass anyway. If I got something like two, I'd be wary. So 6.89 grams of this substance I'm starting with. Now, even if I got this wrong, I should be able to work with something in order to Allow me to get marks for parts two, three, and four. But nine marks said this is a difficult one. If you want greatest stoichiometry, I'd avoid it. Part two, calculate the maximum mass, so our theoretical yield of malachite, that stuff there, that will eventually be formed. So we want to get the moles, another good place to start anyway. The molar ratio is two is to one is to three to one. Now we know there's 6.89 grams of this. I can now work out the moles of azurite. It'll always give you some sort of information that we can go back to moles. So 6.89 grams over the relative molecular mass, which you worked out there, 344.5. And I get 0 0.02 moles. Throw that back in to our equation. So there's 0 0.02 moles of this. 0 0.01, 0 0.03, 0 0.01. Now they've asked you for the maximum amount of this. So you've got the number of moles multiplied by the relative molecular mass of that malachite. And we'll just do it up here. Malachite. 2 by 63.5. One carbon there. Three oxygens. Um two oxygens, two hydrogens. Okay, that's such names. One, two, seven. Let's tally that up. Two, two, one. So you have 0 0.03 moles multiplied by the relative molecular mass, two, two, one. And we get 6.63 grams. Next one, what is the volume measured at STP? So there we can see the STP being mentioned. The leading circle questions always will. My wee crappy questions mightn't. What is the volume measured at STP of carbon dioxide that would be released? Um, so, got the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Samples, 0 0.01. Your volume, either multiply it by 22.4 litres or, if you like, by 22,400 centimetres cubed. Remember, at room temperature and pressure, it would be 24 litres. Throw that into your calculator then. And you'll get that for that. And the last bit, suggest a way. Now, you only got one mark for this, so a quarter of a percent. The further deterioration of the painting by this chemical reaction could be prevented. Now, if you look at that, in order for this reaction to take place, the only other reagent is water. So to prevent it, you eliminate out the water. So keep it dry. Um, prevent water from coming in contact, something about that. Right.